Good morning, everyone. I am so glad that you are here to join us for Sunday School today. Let's go ahead and begin our time together with the Lord's Prayer. Can you guys fold your hands and bow your heads with me? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. All right, so you know what? We are going to pretend today. Today, I have this paper chain. But let's pretend that this paper chain is made of real steel that can't be broken or stretched, okay? I'm going to attach it to my hand and I'm going to set it over here. Now, can you guys see what is in the corner over there? Yeah, over there, we've got a box of M&Ms and I really, really want those M&Ms. But you know what? I, I can't move my chain and I can't reach the M&Ms. And because I can't reach the M&Ms, it makes me really frustrated. You know, it even makes me a little bit angry that I can't get what I want. And you know what? What I really want right now, aside from those M&Ms, is freedom. Freedom allows me to do what I want, when I want. You know, who are some people who don't have freedom? Who are some people who aren't free? You know, there are prisoners, there are slaves, even children. You know, sometimes your grounder have to go into a timeout because you haven't listened to your parents. So how can people who aren't free become free? How do people earn their freedom? You know, sometimes freedom is earned through war, or sometimes people can earn their freedom by following the rules and meeting the requirements that people have set up for them to meet. Did you know that the devil would like to keep us away from God and from God's love? The devil tells us that we aren't good enough or that God doesn't care about us. That's like putting a chain on our heart that keeps us from being free from our sin and free to do the things that God wants us to do. If the devil were in charge of our lives, we would be frustrated and angry and afraid all of the time. But who has set us free? Yeah, Jesus has set us free. That's what he did when he died on the cross for our sins. He broke the control that sin had over us. And now we can belong to him. Let's go ahead and cut the chain. The Bible reminds us that since God has set us free, we need to be careful that we never let the devil control us again. We need to stay close to Jesus and not let the devil trick us into thinking that God doesn't love us because of our sins. Jesus' death on the cross set us free once and for all. We are free to serve him, and we should let others know that they can be free as well if they believe in Jesus, their Savior. Your Sunday School lesson today tells how God prepared to save his people when they were slaves in the land of Egypt. It all began with the birth of a special boy who would grow up to do great things in God's name and set his people free. Let's go ahead and pray. Can you guys fold your hands and bow your head with me? Repeat after me. Dear Jesus, thank you for setting us free from sin so that we can serve you with our lives because we love you. Help us tell others that you have freed them too. Amen. All right, let's go ahead and sing our hymn of the day. <laughs> 